According to the website socialmediatoday.com, 61% of U.S. consumers have made a purchase based on a blog post that they've read. That means bloggers matter more and more in the everyday lives of average Americans. The site also says in America, 6.7 million people blog on blogging sites and 12 million people blog via social networks like Facebook and Twitter. Now, in contrast to most techno technology sectors where representation among women's lag, women rather lags, the majority of bloggers in the U.S. are women, and more than three quarters of internet users reportedly read blogs. It's important to note African Americans have also discovered the influence and money in blogging. The premier gathering of bloggers of color called the Blogging Wild Brown Conference is kicking off this week in Harlem. And joining us here in our New York studio is our guest, Gina McCauley, who is the father of, or excuse, founder <laughs> of the conference. I'm so sorry, Gina. But she's better known in the blogosphere under the Twitter handle <laughs> at the blog mama, mother. Okay, I'm going to get it all right. It's okay. It's, I'm known by many names. Okay. <laughs> At the blog mother? Is that it's it? the blog mother. The right? blog. I'll say it, yeah. it was wrong in the prompter. I'm going to throw somebody under oh. the bus, on the bus for that. But welcome to Arise America. <laughs> Thanks for it's having good me. To, it's good to have you here. And you know what? You're right. I think now blogging uh, have, have become so ubiquitous that it's just sort of a normal part, particularly of women. Even mm -hmm. as a mother, the first thing I do when I want to know where to take my child, you know, for free things on the weekend or holidays is I, I go to some mother's blog. Mm -hmm. It is the thing these days. Well, yeah, these days we've been around for seven years, so for us it's been a thing for a while, but I think you've seen the evolution of traditional media versus new media, and you've seen the influence of bloggers grow, and they very much are a powerhouse now, and you see things like conversations on Twitter even driving mainstream media conversations. So the, the, definitely the growth and influence of uh, user-generated con uh, content has grown since we first started back in 2008. Oh, is that the sophisticated term for it, user-generated content? Well, it's I not like a journalist. Well, it's not a journalist. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's anyone who has an interconnect internet connection and has a thought they want to express now can uh, beam that to the entire world and never in the never in human history have we been able to do that. In the olden days, if you wanted, you had something to say, you had to step on a, a box and hold up a flyer. But right. now, you know, you can be sitting on your couch with your cell phone and say something to the whole world. And so. the truth is, blogs, blogging and bloggers have gotten much more sophisticated. Yeah, they, they definitely had, when, when I first started back in, in, you know, 2006, 2007, we didn't really know what it was going to be and the whole idea of monetization and it took brands a while to catch up with social influence and the idea that these mommy bloggers or these ordinary people had, you know, audiences who would make buying decisions based on what that blogger said. So brands have finally started to catch up and you, you're definitely seeing the stakes rise. I want to get to talk to, uh, talking about your organization, Blogging While Brown. Now, it seems to me the internet is the great equalizer because you can be <laughs> anonymous. So what do you mean by Blogging While Brown? Well, um, that's a lovely thought that the, inter the internet is a great equalizer, but even we've been around for seven years and there's still conversations about whether African Americans use technology and how they use mm. technology. And even though, in, for example, on Twitter, there's a lot of content consumption, um, bloggers are content producers. And I think uh, when we first started, we weren't represented at some of the larger social media conferences that were out there. We weren't represented as attendees. We weren't represented as speakers. And mm. so um, there were a lot of gripes and complaints about representation. And back then I said, well, build your own house. Why, why are you concerned about standing on someone else's stage? Build your own stage. And that's what we did. And so we did two things. We gave African Americans, people of color, women who are experts in technology, a stage and a platform to display that expertise, but we also created an infrastructure for bloggers to connect to each other from around the world. And, and one of the things that's interesting is the, the, the breadth, the, diver the diversity of what people blog about. They blog about lots of different things that you wouldn't think. I, yeah, yeah, I, I could absolutely imagine that. So give me some examples of some of the workshops, some of the panel discussions that you have at the Blogging Wild Brown Conference. Okay, well, we kick off with what's called the Business of Blogging pre-conference, and it's strictly focused on bloggers who want to monetize their blogs. For example, mm. I'm an activist blogger. I'm not blogging for brands. I, I blog for passions and causes. But a lot, a lot of black bloggers want to be able to 
um, make money doing it. They dream of to doing it. To get paid. To get paid. <laughs> they want to do it full time. And so we've really focused on it. It's interesting you talk about the internet as a great equalizer, but uh, entrepreneurs of color face, face the same barriers we've always faced mm. with access to capital, networking, and all of those things that you see traditional black publications suffering under Ebony, you know, Jet just ended. Mm -hmm. Black bloggers still have those same burdens and, and hurdles to hop over. So we focus on monetization, but we also focus on making sure that you maintain your technical skills. So on Saturday morning, we're going to have Marcus Robinson, who's the head of innovation at Interactive One. He's going to be doing our annual technology keynote because this is the one year that some people may have an opportunity, one time a year, that they'll have an opportunity to focus on those technical skills because you cannot blog if you don't have the technical skills to do so. Mm -hmm. So we, we want people to make money, but we also want people to keep up with the latest technology. And then we have 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 all types of stuff, uh, panels about collaborating. Okay. We have um, panels about let me jump in. Let me jump in because I want to do this before I let you go. And, okay. that, and that is, can anybody come to your conference? If they want more information, where can they find out? They can go to www.bloggingwhilebrown.com. All right, Gina. Gina McCauley, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.